The fate of wolves on Isle Royal has been set. The National Park Service announcing earlier today wolves will be reintroduced from the mainland. Fox 9's Randy Meyer has been following the developments closely for more than a year now. Joining us with this update, Randy. Well, the Park Service decided now is the time because wildlife biologists and National Park Service officials feel waiting for wolves to repopulate naturally isn't likely to happen. The moose are taking over the island and there just aren't enough wolves to keep them in check. Strikingly beautiful but ecologically unbalanced, Isle Royal's wildlife landscape will now be altered to the hand of man. With only two non-breeding wolves left here, the decision to reintroduce more wolves has been a foregone conclusion for some time. The imbalance of moose to wolves that's threatening the vegetative cover on this 210 square mile island national park, which for National Park Service officials left them no choice but to reestablish an apex predator. The reason for us moving forward is to put wolves out there to act as predators in that system to help preserve some of our forest resources out on the island. So we, we fully expect wolves to do what wolves do and, and um, hunt moose. The issue of prey to predator imbalance has been building for years in Isle Royal. At its peak, some 50 wolves roamed here, keeping a healthy moose population in check. But when the wolf numbers dwindled to the single digits, moose numbers burgeoned to what is now nearly 2,000 animals. As a wildlife biologist, Dr. L. David Meach pioneered the wolf-moose study back in 1958 on Isle Royal. Now, 60 years later, while disappointed man has to intervene with nature's course, he agrees it's necessary. Do you think that this reintroduction of wolves um, sullies the sort of hands-off approach to that island? Um, yes, yeah, sure it does, because we're putting the wolves out there and we're doing it in an unnatural way, I mean deliberately. Um, but we, you know, in defense of that, we have 60 years of data uh, from, um, from the previous study. Um, and if we were to wait for our wolves to get out there naturally, it could be a long time. So with little hope that ice bridges that occasionally form in the winter will usher wolves back to the island naturally, the NPS, working with wildlife officials, will over the next three to five years trap or aerial net upwards of 30 wolves from the mainland and bring them here. Packs will form, and wildlife biologists say nature will, over time, once again, create a balance between predator, prey, and island. Now, as you heard from my report, the National Park Service will take those wolves from the mainland. Where on the mainland is yet to be determined. The NPS will be working with DNR biologists from Minnesota, from Michigan, from Wisconsin, Canada, and various tribal entities to establish a system for gathering the wolves in the most effective way from the most abundant population of wolves.